I'm Susan from bakewithmom.com. Today we're going to make sugar cookies and we're going to do them Pokemon style. <music> Gotta catch them all! We're going to start with a cup of butter and I'm going to get it beating. Add to it uh, one cup of sugar and it's the granulated sugar. I still need to scrape with a spatula myself because I want to get the sides and the bottom. Sometimes on the bottom your sugar will collect and not get in, blended in. Now to that we're going to add two extra large eggs. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. So over here I have three cups of sifted flour already and to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to sift that together. I'm going to use a spatula to add it to our mixture here. If you want it at about medium, on my machine it's a five. You don't want it too fast because then your flour is going to fly all over. There's our beaten dough and we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Uh, a couple hours would be even better. Uh, we want it so that we can roll it out and cut our shapes and it makes it a lot easier if, if it's chilled. Our sugar cookies are chilled enough now, our dough, and so what I'm going to do is sprinkle some flour on my pastry surface. Spread it around. And put my dough on. And we can roll it out. I also want some flour on my rolling pin and I may have to flour it while I'm rolling it out. When you're rolling it out, you start in the center and work your way out. And we're going to want this about three-eighths of an inch thick when we're through rolling it. You don't want it too thin because then it'll spread out too much when you're baking it and uh, get too thin and, and it just doesn't get nice. Uh, you, you want a nice cookie when you're done. Okay, I have a nice round cookie cutter here. We dip it in our flour. Then put it as close to the edge as you can and push. Now I've got a metal spatula I'm going to use to get it off of the pastry cloth. And put it on our cookie sheet. And you keep your, you don't grease your cookie sheets for this. It's not necessary. So I have a template here that I made for our Pokemon symbol. I just used some heavy paper. And we'll do our white first. Okay, we'll take that off. I'm going to flip this over. Actually, I will put this back on because we're going to do the other side in red. But it comes in multicolors if you want to get it creative. And then we're going to trace. I bought some black icing 
and we're going to do our middle part of our Pokemon with this. I'm going to leave a template on my bakewithmom.com for you for this uh, Pokemon symbol. What I did is buy a 50 cent uh, round cookie cutter from Walmart and then I uh, made a circle and, and cut it out. But I'll have this template online for you so all you have to do is cut it out and you can do it yourself. The link is below. It's on bakewithmom.com. So my oven temperature is 425 and it's now heated enough and we're gonna bake it for four to five minutes. I'm gonna start with four and just see how they look after four minutes. Two minutes have gone by, so I'm gonna switch my pans. The reason we do that is because we don't want them to burn on the bottom of the bottom pan and burn on the top on the top pan. We want it to cook evenly. So in order to do that, we have to switch our pans halfway through. So let's give one of these Pokemon cookies a try. Mmm, nice and sugary. Very good. Give it a try and enjoy. Got to catch them all. If you have a question about baking or cooking, be sure and leave it below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you liked my video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Visit bakewithmom.com. Make sure you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe.